First tonight at 5.30, it was a difficult day for the family of Mary Ellen Medeiros. And they had to relive her murder every seven years, fighting to keep her killer behind bars. Iowa News News reporter Rob Nesbitt is live outside the Rhode Island Parole Board building with their decision. Rob? The parole board decided about an hour ago to deny parole to Frank Moniz, a relief to Mary Ellen's brothers and sisters who were here today fighting for their sister's rights. She was an amazing woman, amazing woman. Family and friends of Mary Ellen Medeiros held onto their memories and their signs. Her sister, Catherine Lescolt, pleaded with the Rhode Island Parole Board Wednesday to deny parole to Frank Moniz, who was convicted of slashing Medeiros to death. He's a murderer. He stabbed his wife over 52 times. Concern for her own safety. We can't keep living in fear. As well as the safety of other women she feels could become victims of domestic violence. We feel Frank um, needs to stay where he is for the safety of our community. Medeiros' family was joined by the prosecutor in their sister's case, David Morowitz. He tortured her. He slashed her. He described the murder and the 911 call that was used as evidence in the 1990 case. This by far was the most brutal murder I've ever seen. Their meeting helped the board decide to deny Moniz parole for the third time. Medeiros' family says they'll be back again for their sister the next time her murderer is up for possible release. So not only do we relive it every day, the brutal murder of our sister, but we have to think about the next time. Moniz's next parole meeting will be in January of 2030. Live in Cranston, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.